Hi everyone, it's Lure from TradingEnergy.com and this is a weekly report on gold and silver with a short recap for April 16th to the 20th and an outlook for April 23rd to the 27th. So let's get started. So what were the main movers and shakers throughout last week that may have affected bullion market? There's the US Philly Fed index that edged down from 12.5% to 8.5%. This is still a growth rate, however, at a slightly slower pace. So this may have adversely affected the US dollar a little bit and thus may have also edged up gold and silver prices. The US housing starts declined by 5.8% month over month. This is another another report that shows that there is a little bit of a slowdown in the housing market in the US. And this report tends to be negatively correlated with gold and silver prices. This may have also affected gold and silver prices to edge up the following day of the report. The U.S. unemployment claims remained remained high and low and edged down a little bit to 386,000. This this also report is uh, tends to be also uh, strongly related with the U.S. dollar and consequently gold and silver. And finally, the Spanish bond auctions were successful so far, despite the the concerns of the market in regards to the fiscal instability in Spain. There will be another, and throughout the upcoming week, there will continue to be reports in regards to what will be of the faith of the of the Spanish bond auctions and also the Italian bond auctions that will be held uh, throughout the next week, and they will also raise the question of whether or not ECB will eventually need or will be required or will have to uh, bail out uh, Spain from its uh, debt. Okay, so what happened last week? This uh, this chart will be is uh, linked is um, normalized to 100 for the end of the previous week, April 13th. As you can see, gold price edged down a little bit throughout last week by nearly 1%, while silver price tended up and increased by nearly 1%. These these uh, changes, as you can see, are very moderate and will not. And I, and I suspect that they will not be reflected in, in the upcoming week because there are ma major events that could have that could have stir up the financial markets and also have and also affect the bullion prices to trade much more uh, with much more uh, variance than was the case throughout last week. Okay, so what so what should we expect for the upcoming week of April 23rd to the 27th? On Monday, there's the China Flash Manufacturing PMI. If this report will will show some progress in China's uh, economy, it could have some positive effect on commodities prices and also in this effect, gold and silver prices. Go as you as you recall, China is among the leading countries in uh, importing gold and silver. Euro Euro area manufacturing PMI will also be reported if there will be some uh, some change from the recent contraction in the manufacturing PMI it could have some positive effect in the euro which is strongly linked with bullion prices on Tuesday there is the US the Canada's retail sales report that also uh, Canada uh, the Canadian dollar is also strongly linked with uh, bullion prices the U.S. Consumer Confidence Report. It's also uh, some some kind of indicator in regards to the U.S. economy and uh, the consumer's confidence. And the new home sales report, which is another line of reports that will uh, try to examine how how the retail, how the U.S. retail uh, re real estate market is uh, doing in the recent months. On Wednesday, there's ACB President Draghi a speech. If you will uh, uh, hint in regards to the upcoming uh, ECB monetary policy meeting and the interest rate decision that will be held uh, in a couple of weeks from now, it could have some effect on the euro and also uh, on the confidence of traders in regards to the future progress of the EU. There are many items on the agenda for the ECB on whether or not to help out Spain, Italy, uh, Greece, of course, it's always on the, on, the, on the line. And also what will be the next steps for the EU in regards to LTRO. And it will be interesting to see whether or not he will bring up some of these items and refer to that if they'll be the case it would could have some effects on the market 
On Wednesday, there are also the US core durable goods. This indirectly shows the progress of the the US demand for commodities. So if there will be a, a, an ongoing growth, it could have a, it could signal a good positive a, a good positive signal for the US economy's progress. And the main event of the week will be on Wednesday with the FOMC meeting statement and the economic projection and the Bernanke's speech and the press conference following the, the release of the statement. If the FOMC will hint or, uh, or state, or obviously state, uh, another stimulus plan, which I, as I stated in the previous uh, weeks, that I strongly... I believe that there won't be such a case because the U.S. economy is showing some signs of recovery, even though the U.S. Uh, labor report of the uh, of earlier the mo- this month didn't wasn't as positive as many had predicted it to be. Still, if there will be another stimulus plan, it could have some some positive effect on the gold and silver prices. However, as I stated. Many times before, I think that the FOMC, and that's my speculation, this is my guess, of course, that the Fed will not uh, issue another uh, stimulus plan or as, or another uh, QE3, QE3 program for that uh, matters. And in such a case, gold and silver prices will probably sharply decline, as was the case back in March when uh, the FOMC meeting came up with no stimulus plan back in uh, March 14th, gold and silver prices tumbled down. On Thursday, the U.S. jobless claims weekly update. If there will be some some major shifts, it could have a, a, an effect on the U.S. dollar, consequentially gold and silver prices. The Italian 10-year bond auction will also be held on Thursday. It will be interesting to see whether or not it will be successful. In such a case, it could have some positive effect on the euro. And U.S. pending home sales will also be held on Thursday. On Thursday, there is also the Bank of Japan's monetary policy statement. If there will be some uh, big headlines, it could have some effect on the U.S. Uh, dollar versus the Japanese yen, and consequently also might have some effects on commodities prices. And finally, the U.S. GDP first quarter of 2012 estimate will be released. This is also one of the major events of the week. If um, the GDP will hit the the expectations, which is which are currently at uh, 2.5%, or even better yet, will uh, succeed them and reach a, a similar rate as was the, in the, the, the previous quarter, which was a 4%, a 3% uh, growth. It could have a positive effect on the US dollar and thus may also uh, adversely affect gold and silver prices. So we'll be, so we have to check out what will happen on Friday. That's it. For more on Golden Server, you're welcome to check out my blog at tradingnrg.com. Thank you for listening and have an excellent week.